I am looking deep within the blackened chasms of my soul for a camera system to buy into. I could go either way. There's three ways I could perceivably futurize myself with. That There's no way that was a sentence in any language. I don't pay attention to what the best specs are on paper. It's a feeling. You shoot with a camera and you're like, oh, you're blown away. The Fuji Eterna profile makes me giddy like a school child. Little boy. Just, is it lunchtime, teach? It's not yet. Why are we here? The Panasonic stabilization, when you're out in the field and you're walking, you're jittery, you're like, you're worried. You're like, oh man, I'm sure shaking. Then you get the footage back and you're like, it's the smoothest thing I've ever seen. I am the gimbal. I am a gimbal. When I was back in Thailand, the Fuji X-T3 was just announced. I made it to a shop. They had it. I got my hands on it. They wouldn't let me record with it. They were like, don't touch any button, but you can hold it. So that was the lamest video I've ever released. My buddy Eddie filming the back of the LCD screen with the Sony X-3000. That was my review of the camera, and it was a great review. For some reason, I can't explain it. It's mythical. I held that Fuji camera and I was like, this is the system I should be buying into. This is exciting. Look at that, it's kind of compact. They got the dials. I was like, oh my God. I hadn't even seen the Eterna profile yet. So here we are with the Fuji X-T4 looming upon us, delayed due to the coronavirus that has dropped my mutual fund $8,000 this month. But I survive by picking up change from homeless men's cups. The camera itself is an impressive beast but is it worth buying into the Fuji lenses due to their terrible industry sucking lenses? They suck the life out of my lens. So today we talk about is it worth it? And what lenses are the best lenses ever made? Wow, oh my God. I probably should have cut my fingernails for that. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. So Fuji is an interesting company. They're the underdogs, and I like that. They're not a huge company, although they're pretty damn big. Bigger than any company you've ever seen. But not as big as Canon or Sony. PlayStation. Mom, I don't I want to escape my reality and let me play video games. I'll live my life through that character. Get a life. Now, while this is hands down the worst camera ever made, they do have a fantastic flippy screen, and I will give them that. Even though this camera just lost a battle to my Panasonic G85, when Panasonic hadn't even learned to ride a bicycle yet, they invented that camera, and it just beat this seven years later. Sad. I'm not 100% sure they had a boardroom meeting to discuss the potential of this camera, but if they did, I, I wouldn't mind hearing it. All right, fellows, XT3 cells are going strong. I'm proud of you guys. I'm proud of all of you and you women, especially you women here. We appreciate you. We appreciate you. You do the hard work. You're the real thinkers here. We love women at Fuji. Let's make a much worse camera. Just a terrible camera for people who only have like $8 in their pockets, but they still want to take pictures of their pet Daegu. You ever had those? The Daegu's? We need to cater to these people. We can definitely make a worse camera. We're capable. We're definitely capable. It's just how far down the totem pole do you want to slide on this one, boss? Like real far, like below the dirt, just underneath where the foundation lies. Just slide right down there. Okay, okay, we can do that. Let's remove the dials that are known to Fuji so people pick up the camera, they're just like, is this a Fuji? It looks like a Fuji camera. But the dials are gone. They have no way of judging exposure. They don't need to. They're stupid. They can't tell if it's bright out or sunny or winter. Just have the camera choose. I am liking this. Let's take all creative decision out of people's minds. and Just let the camera choose. People are dumb. A lot dumber than we give them credit for. They're going to make the wrong choice. And then those photos are going to be on the internet with our name on it? Forget that. This is an auto mode camera. Are you sure we want to remove every single choice? Because even smartphones let you choose some things. Remove every single choice. Have you ever made the wrong choice on a drunken night and you live to regret it? What if you had a chance to turn back the clock and remake that decision to the right one? 
Sure, you could walk her home, but then it's over. You make sure she got home safe. And you left with your integrity intact. That's what we do here at Fuji. Can we remove the Eterna profile? Make autofocus much worse? No IBIS? Put the battery door right by the tripod mount so nobody can take it out. Oh, the, the ideas are flowing, boss. Lewis, I'm not saying you're going to be president one day, but you're on the path. You're on the path, that's for sure. I don't know why Fuji went full hobo mode on this one, but they take out every creative choice you got. Worst preamps I've ever seen. Annoying things. Simplicity that you hate. I just, I could not recommend this camera. But the Fuji system, in general, is it good? Is it the best? wasted a lot of time here. We haven't learned a lot yet, but I mainly just wanted to test this camera. Is it fantastic? We will talk about the lenses. Which lens is best? This one? It sure could be. That's a nice one. The 18 mil. Wow. What is the camera? Can you guess it? Oh my god. So here's the deal with Fuji. They made a bunch of lenses for photography and then got into video and realized that none of these lenses are made for video and they have terrible autofocus. Don't get me wrong here, the Fuji X-T3 with the 16mm f1.4, it performed really well in my tests and that's known to be a bad autofocusing lens. With the improvements Fuji's made in their bodies, it seems like even the bad lenses do good things at times. But this lens, I don't know what happened to it, but I tried to use it. It would not lock on to me for eight minutes. I'm there sitting, waiting in the best light. I'm like, come on, what the hell's happening? Like it wouldn't, just chose nothing. It chose the background over me, over me. Unfortunately for us, most Fuji lenses are like this. They have the bad autofocus and you don't know what you're gonna get. So judging a lens on paper by what it should be, is not the truth. It's not the truth, so this lens is garbage. Most people know that, but it looked nice. It looked nice while well, it was in focus, but you can't trust it, so this thing's out. And another problem, Fuji's IBIS isn't good enough to where you can just use any prime lens, like you can on Panasonic. You just pick the prime lens. It's like, oh, we got IBIS. That's the benefit. It's like any lens is stabilized, not on Fuji. You still want lens stabilization. Can you have it? Can you have both cakes and eat them both at the same time? I could, but that really limits your possibilities to get into the Fuji system. So if I was here with the X-T4 and I wanted to make this video, I'd get that 16 mil f1.4 and we'd be good to go. For the studio, that thing's too heavy to take on the road and it won't be stable enough even with the X-T4 magnets and the digital on top of it. And then you've got to think of that. You need the digital stabe on top of the IBIS to be effective. That's going to crop in a little bit, isn't it? This 18 lens that I threw over there and then I retrieved it. That's too tight. It was already too tight. Then you crop in with a digital? You're crazy. You're crazy. So now you're mind storming possibilities. What's next? The 10 to 24 is your logical choice. It's stabilized. It's wide. It's heavy too. It's really heavy. That whole system weighs over a kilogram. 10, 17 grams. Just to put that into perspective, what's the Sony a7 three way? with something equivalent. 1168 for the 16 to 35 f4 lens, stabilized. So you, you'll get slightly more tone. And same basic weight and your full frame with amazing autofocus that doesn't relax ever. <laughs> In fact, something I wanna try, the Sony a7 III with the kit lens, even though it's not known to be a very good kit lens, it is 28 mil f 3.5 on the wide. That's kind of a nice looking bucket for 945 grams. That's lighter than this Fuji that won't look as good. It has Fuji colors. Is that enough? No. So while the 10 to 24 will look pretty nice with the Fuji colors, decent stabilization, nice and wide, is it worth carrying that much over a little GoPro? Is it gonna look much different? Like you're not getting any subject separation with the F4 on an APS-C. What are you really getting? Just better image. I found this 14 mil F2.8 to not look that great. I was walking around with just digital stabilization. 
It was jerky, and the image just didn't have a magic to it. Like it does on the Panasonic with that 15mm f1.7. That's magical. It looks magical. It's like, okay, if you want a certain look beyond the GoPro, then you have to have the lens to bring it to you. This ain't it. This is a GoPro lens. This is basically putting a GoPro on your Fuji camera. Ain't nobody got time for that. It's a decent weight though. It's only like 235 grams. So it's doable, especially with this body, this little tiny body. I didn't realize how light this thing, 370 grams. You believing that? This kit lens, you might as well talk about that. That's actually decent for vlogging. The stabilization isn't great, but coupled with IBIS and digital, I bet it's doable. 15 mil slightly wide, that's like 21.5 ish. Don't quote me on that. You get it out extended far, you might have something worth writing home about. Not to anybody that's currently alive, but a dead relative would want to hear it. The 18 to 55 kit lens did have some magic, I will admit that. On the wide end, the 2.8, it's like, okay. We're looking good. Fuji colors, somewhat decent stabilization, but that thing's a little heavy. 310 grams, you put that on an X-T4, 917 grams. You're peaking at full frame skirts. Don't do that. My Panasonic's like 620 grams. That's totally doable. It's even a bit much, but totally livable. You're pushing up into like 7, 800. <laughs> You're getting a bit much. That's why I don't even consider the Panasonic G9 or the GH5 even worse. They're heavier for not much gain. There's gain, but not much. That's really it for lenses. Like there is no magical lens. You gotta go with the kit lens and deal with the weight. And in my opinion, vlogging in the field, you bring the little guy for the idle cam. Even that thing is 300 grams. It's light, but it's still bulky. You can't put it away like you can this. It's right in there. I need the media mod. How come it's not even out in Canada? What the hell happened to us? So I don't really know that Fuji is the system to buy into for video, even though they're upgrading the bodies. The lenses have so far to catch up, and I don't know that they're even working on it. Where's the roadmap? I don't, ain't seeing it. I wanna see some F2 primes that are lighter. We need the 12 mil F2. I ain't getting that broken on manual focus one. Give me a break. It needs to autofocus. Come on. Even the full frame systems that I'm looking at, the Canon or the Sony, they don't have the F2 primes. You don't need super 1.4 everything. Just F2, F2.8 is not enough. Not quite enough. Come on, let's be real with ourselves. F2 though, F1.8, that's even nicer if it can be as small as an F2. I like that Sony 28 mil F2. That's probably the lens I would get for that system. I'll tell you that much. I mean, after seeing this autofocus, Having tried the Fuji cameras, it's kind of hard to even think that that's the system we're going for. I don't know about that. So, we have our sights set much higher, my friend. Yes, we do. So, I think we're done. Sorry for the rambly video today, but post your guesses down below. What's the camera we're filming on? It could be nice. Oh, I kicked... Oh, God. I kicked the mic, then it... I'm gonna leave with my dignity intact. Let me know stuff down below. Fuji, yeah, no. Canon, Sony, Olympus. I'm gonna go subscribe for more videos and see you in the next one.